everyone, I'm back. This is uh, the Wright Brothers reproduction by Zholet. I hope I pronounced his name right. It's a really nice design so far, so uh, let's give it a go. I think these uh, double jets might be a little bit too strong for such an aircraft, but uh, let's see how it goes. Yeah, the speed is ridiculous. Let's crank it down a bit. Nope. Well, the Wright brothers didn't get it right the first time as well, so... Let's restart flight and have another go at this. That's a lot of damn power for such a small craft. Even though very little fuel though, that's uh, one downfall. Let's see, I only see one tank. Nope! God damn it. Well, down we go. With style, and we turn it into a monoplane, so that's pretty funny. Actually, that was pretty controllable. <laughs> okay. That actually gave me an inspiration to make a monoplane now. Let's restart the flight. And let's have another go. This right part of this plane is uh, very uncontrollable. Uh, that's probably due to the fact that it doesn't have flaps on these wings. So you can't really push uh, the force uh, that's being produced by these two very strong engines for such craft and a weight. We only have them in the front and two very small in the back. He needed a couple of here, but... Uh, if he got it in the air, so I guess it should be possible, so let's... Get, let's get us into the air as well. There we go. And I have finally managed to get it. I did use, of course, my SAS to keep it stable. And I can crank up the power more. Let's see how... The thing is, the moment I do remove my SAS, I know I'm going to be uh, going out of control. So... <laughs> I'm not really looking forward to that. It's a very tricky plane. Maneuverability-wise, I'd say it's very, very poor. It needs a couple of flaps in the back. But again, this is was made, I do believe, just to replicate the Wright Brothers plane. So really good on Zoet to get that done. Let's put the gears in. It's a really nice replica of the actual Wright Brothers plane. Well, as close as it can get to in terms of kerbalizing it. Top speed so far, we do have around 185. I think the possibility of it going more is, of course, uh, greater. But uh, let's look at our fuel capacity again. As mentioned before, it's not a lot. So uh, even though it will take quite a lot of uh, time for this fuel to, to die out, we're at 800. We already used 10 units and we just took off. So I don't know about, about the distance in terms of... Yeah, see, that's what happens when you switch off the SAS. So you do get that happening. Not the best way to... Uh, yeah, there's, there's no way I can control this. I don't think I can uh, recover from this. Nope, so down I go. So this is it. I'm not going to be bothered to continue with uh, this showcase. Uh, so far, that was pretty funny. The actual chassis flies back up. This is pretty much it for uh, this showcase of the Wright Brothers plane. Uh, controllability is very, very bad. It's very, very tricky to get it up into the air, but it actually does fly. And uh, it's, it's a pretty nice plane and a nice replica. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Happy gaming and see you guys in another video. Bye.